Welcome back all my Share Bears. Today's video is Friday Fabs and Flubs and I do have quite a few fabs for you today. Um, I hope that I get the one video up because there is a couple of items in my Friday Fabs. It is from a haul that I did a week ago but I have not put all my videos up. I have been playing catch up with everything I've ordered so it's been kind of a hectic week and I've just finally gotten everything edited so hopefully this haul will be up before this goes up on Friday. My first fab has got to be a concealer that I bought ages ago and maybe I just didn't know why I needed this concealer but now I do this is a Smashbox concealer and it is in bisque but this is a powder concealer you can see there what I've been using this for is I have a little friend right there that came to a head and when I was scrubbing my face I happened to hit it and it broke and of course then it just like came apart and it was impossible to cover and I'm like, this is horrendous it looks like I have an open wound on my face and I kept trying different things and I reached in and I grabbed this and I put this on and oh my god I couldn't use this on my under eyes it's way too dark and it would look cakey but on a blemish this covered it perfectly and lasted for 10 hours I would repurchase this. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I do think it's still available. Items are two foundations, and I'm going to tell you that I've been on like a foundation kick as of late. I have these two. I also had another one in that the haul that these came from. I also have another one that's coming up in another haul and another one and I think there might be one more. So the first one I'm going to talk about is new and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Care or Total Cover Foundation. This has been being hyped up on YouTube and I believe people were saying that they were having a hard time finding it. I didn't. We had a brand new display. I was able to pick out a color. I will say that in other videos I've seen they had way more color selection than we had in our shoppers. But I was able to pick out a great color. I'm actually wearing this foundation today and I'm loving it. It is in the shade 302 and it is a bit of a darker color and I think the light is 301 but I could be mistaken um, if you could find this depending on who you're watching the first person I saw that did a review on it was what would Lizzie do and she said that she didn't like applying it with a sponge but Tati did a review on it and she said she liked it with a sponge. She didn't like it with a brush. Lizzie liked it with a brush. Tati didn't. And I think Lip Gloss Leslie also did one and she said that she didn't like it with a brush. That she preferred a sponge. I decided when I got it because I had seen what would Lizzie do. Do a tutorial on it in a review that I was going to use just a brush and see and I found it covered really nicely it did it was a bit 
harder to blend on my forehead. My forehead is drier than my Tizo, but I thought the brush did a really good job. But after seeing Tati and Lip Gloss Leslie, I'm like, well, I'm going to try my Beauty Blender, and I have to say I prefer it with a brush. Just my take on it. Although I will say if you have drier skin, you would probably want to use the Beauty Blender because I found it blended well on my forehead with the Beauty Blender. But the rest of my face, it worked better with a brush. The next foundation I have, and this was also in my shopper's haul, this is an Art Deco foundation. And if you watch my haul, you'll see that this was long lasting and so nice. I am not going to talk too much about this. Needless to say, I've been using it between this one and the L'Oreal. I've been using these nonstop for the past week and I love it. I will be doing a review on the Art Deco line alone. The next item I want to talk about, I do not have a powder. I think that's my next thing that I'm going to be on is like a powder kick. I don't know. I'm going in stages it seems. But I do have a blush and the blush that I've been using is Dame by MAC. This was one I picked up in September and I used it for probably a week straight and loved it and then you know you start going through your collection and you're like well I haven't used this one and I haven't used this one in a while so maybe I'll put this one away and then you forget about it because it's in a drawer and, but this is the color of it it just gives a nice soft rosy glow to your cheeks is the Sweet Peach Glow Kit. I haven't been using the blush or the bronzer, but the highlight I have been using. Is it my absolute favorite highlighter ever? No, but it is nice and it is fairly subtle. Um, plus it smells wonderful and you can smell the peach when you put it on your cheek. That is <laughs> nice. And when you swatch it, it looks way more dramatic than it actually is when you put it on. It's just a nice subtle glow. I am wearing it today. As I said, I have not used the blush or the bronzer in there. But now on to eyes. The eyeliner I've been reaching for is color pop eyeliner and best O. I got these eyeliners when they first came out. I do have the pot plus the pencil. This is like a dark purpley brown. Not really sure how to say it, but it has worked well in conjunction with the eye colors I have been using this past week. So, on to the eye colors I've been using this week. This is also part of the shopper's haul I did, and I am sorry it is a Canadian brand. It is a Canadian only brand, exclusive to shoppers. I've said this a million times. I can't help if it's what I reach for, and there are Canadians out there watching, obviously. So, this is one of their True Hues eyeshadow palettes, and the one I have been reaching for the most is in Romance Novel. I am wearing some of these on my eyes today. It is not exclusively what I am wearing on my eyes. So I am wearing this as brow bone. This as my transition color right here. 
and this in the outer corner and into the crease. These are long lasting. They are very soft though. I'm terrified every time I stick my brush in it that they are going to break because they are very soft. They are easy to apply. There's no fallout but they're very soft and I'm always terrified I'm going to break them and these aren't cheap palettes but the color lasts all day into the evening. Like I said, I'm up early. I'm in bed late. My eyeshadow lasts a good long time. The other color we're wearing on my eyes is not part of my favorites. It is NYX's Fireball, which is in the Ipsy bag this month. And I thought I'll try it with these. Not the hugest fan of it, but I think it's the colors I've paired with it. So I will continue to use it. I think it's a lovely color. I think it might just not be my color. I think it'd be better on brown eyes and I think it'd make them pop way better. That's my theory and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> the next item I have is another eyeshadow palette and this is the Naked 2 and this is a palette that I thought I probably won't get much use out of because of the colors but I have been using this between this one and the Quo pretty much non-stop since I got it for Christmas and I'm not sticking to the lighter tones I'm moving into these and even even experimenting with putting some of the lighter shimmered ones because some of them are quite shimmery but the ones that have less shimmer into my crease and I have loved them these have lasted all day I don't think I have to speak to the naked palettes consistency isn't my favorite of the naked palettes I will say this again no naked 3 is my go-to naked palette but it has the pink tones but lately I have really been loving warmer tones I we got out of fall I'm suddenly in love with warm tones didn't want them in the fall though <laughs> the last item I am going to put in my favorites is a lipstick I got from a Sephora haul. One that I have is the Urban Decay. It's a comfort matte and it is in the color Safe Word. This has been my go-to lip color because it's a nude. I am wearing it today and I have Papadope Peach on over top of it. These are long lasting but you can't, you can build them up, but you can't keep reapplying through the day. It'll feel like you don't have any on, and you'll go to reapply, and you'll realize you do have some on still, and it'll start to ball up. But they are long lasting, that means. So this has been my go to lip color. This one is just. I believe they describe it as a pinky brown on Sephora. Beautiful coloring, long lasting, comfortable matte lip color. Now on to my flub for this month. This is something I picked up a while back. Schwarzkopf Essence Ultimate. This is for color or highlighted hair, which was why I got it. This was not cheap. I ran out of my conditioner for my John Frieda, and because I wasn't going right away, I was like, I'll just pull both these out, even though I still had the shampoo from the John Frieda. I wish, and I don't know why I didn't in the store, 
I wish I had opened this in the store to smell it because I'm not going to say this is a bad product. I'm not. My hair felt pretty good after using it, but not a good enough to keep using it to suffer with the smell. There are going to be people out there that will love this because I know that I think it's Elizabeth and James perfume Nirvana. This smells like it and you can't get rid of the smell. You can't. I can't stand that perfume. I cannot stand it. It is too strong. It smells too masculine. It's not me at all. And this smells straight up like it. So if you like Elizabeth and James Nirvana perfume, you will love this. I do not, and unfortunately, because the scent sticks around, even overpowers my perfume, everything, because it sticks around, I will not continue to use it, which is a shame, because I really should have just smelt this, and I normally do smell these products in the store, because I know shampoos can linger and... I've had a few that were really bad, and this is one of them, unfortunately. Lesson learned. Sniff the product before you buy it. So unfortunate, but it is decent product. I just can't speak to long-lasting decent, because as soon as I used this, I was out getting my John Frieda. I'll stick to my John Frieda. So... That's everything. So, that's everything for my Friday fabs and loves. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope you've seen a few products that maybe you want to pick up. And I will leave as much as I can linked in the description box. Um, like I said, I don't know if the concealer is still available. And I know Quo is only available at Shoppers. So the other items I will try to leave linked in the description box down below. This is still available. I know. I checked this morning. So that's everything. Hope you're having a beautiful week. Much love. And bye for now. See you in my next video.